Praise the Lord, dear brothers and sisters. Greetings to you all in the precious living name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What a joy and blessing it is to experience the presence of our Lord in an amazing way in our lives. Shall we look unto our Lord Jesus Christ with faithful heart? Our gracious, loving Heavenly Father, we thank thee, Lord, for this presence you have given us. Lord, please forgive all our known and unknown sins. Accept us as your own and keep us to be fit to walk worthy of your calling. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us take the word of God from the book of Isaiah, chapter 58. We read verse 8 and 9. Isaiah 58, chapter, verses 8 and 9. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be thy re-reward. What a great blessing the man of God has written according to the command of the Lord. The Lord had delivered this blessing through the mouth of Isaiah, his prophet, and this Isaiah had to speak to the people who are obedient as well as who were disobedient too. If anyone who is ready to yield themselves to the calling of the Lord, here comes the greatest blessing of receiving a greatest reward as a Bible, as the word of God says, the glory of the Lord shall be thy re-reward. And the reward of the Lord is at hand. And those who walk worthy of this great calling of the Lord would indeed experience this glory of the Lord in all abundance. And let us look into verse 9. Then shall thou call and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and speaking vanity, the Lord says, Verse 10, And if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obscurity, and thy darkness be as the noonday. Verse 11, and the Lord shall guide you continually, and satisfy thy soul in drought, and make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a watered garden. Thou shalt be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water, whose waters fail not. Whose waters fail not. The Lord is giving a greatest blessing. A blessing when you are able to have a heart full of compassion. A heart which can forgive, a heart which could bear, a heart, a heart which could, understanding the meaning of real patience and the character of the Lord which could uh, be there implanted in every life, which could be sown in every life, able to reveal the character of our Lord. Our Jesus Christ, our Savior, has taught us the greatest secret of loving him truthfully and following his precepts, his commands. And the greatest, greatest blessing which the Holy Spirit has given us is to understand the peace we have with the Lord God through Jesus Christ. Through his death and resurrection, through his death and resurrection, we find at any time, let it be any season, you will always be full of the blessing. So is the command of our Lord. You shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters fail not. Whose waters fail not. Verse 12. They shall be, and they that shall be of you shall build the old ways places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. Praise God. Are you able to realize the calling of the Lord Jesus Christ in your life? It is a very special call. And we have to realize that we have to listen to that very call of our Lord. Be prepared 
to receive the blessing from the holy presence of Allah. As we read this verse here, the glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. In Jesus' name, the fulfillment of the promises of the Lord will ever be there in our lives in all its abundance, glory and honor. Shall we pray and ask the Lord humbly to fulfill these promises which we have read just now from verse 8 onwards. Heavenly Father, we thank thee Lord for speaking with us and granting us the grace to receive the command that the very glory of thine would shine forth upon every lives. And you're there to command blessing. Blessing upon the souls, blessing upon the body, healing, deliverance, prosperity, and in all above everything to grow in you, to flourish in you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name as we humble ourselves and come to your presence. Thank you for being a real reward, my God, by blessing us. Thank you for the new life you have given us in Jesus Christ, who has died for us to redeem us from eternal damnation by granting us the grace to be forgiven from all our sins. Lord, by rising up again on the third day, back to life is very resurrection, which has granted us the grace forever to live with you eternally. Unto all eternity, may the grace of thine ever multiply in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beloved ones, God bless you and praise the Lord. Blessings to each and every one of you from my brother, Brother Joe Madhu and myself, Jesse Vina.